Be inspired with the special message from Bishop Macedo. May the Almighty God, the Lord of heaven and earth and all the universe and of everything that exists, may He come to bless the life of each one of you and also your family members. Let there be light in your house in your home, in your life. Let there be health, the physical health, and also the spiritual health. Let there be, in this moment, peace in your life, so that this day may be fruitful, so that this day may be profitable in your life. May God bless you. All of you, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. So, have you noticed? I believe you have noticed. And also, you might have spoken to people. People who are of the faith and also people who are not of the faith. But I believe you have heard people saying, Wow, these days have been passing so fast. Yesterday, it was just yesterday when, when we had the, the end of the year or in the new year, when there was you no know, the Father's Day, Mother's Day. So everything is going so fast. The days, they are lasting maybe like 12 hours. Have you noticed this? Well, <laughs> with all people that speak about this, Regardless of they are of the faith or not, everyone holds the same opinion. The same opinion. And indeed, it seems that the, the time is going faster than it was before. And then I was researching there in the Holy Scriptures the answer. <laughs> Everything that happens here on earth, my dear friend, if you believe or not, it's written there in the Bible. It's already prophesied. It's already determined. And I went there to the Word of God to seek this guidance. And twice, it's written in the Bible. It's written twice in the Bible. The word shortened. Once has to do with the destination of those who are wicked. It says like this. The fear of the Lord prolongs days. But the years of the wicked will be shortened. It's written here, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. It's already determined here. It was already defined. The fear of the Lord prolongs the days. That means when someone fears the Lord, and this is one of the reasons why you should teach your children since they are young to fear the Lord, so that they may have a long life. So, the fear of the Lord prolongs the days. Prolongs the days of, of whom? Of those who fear the Lord. But, the scripture says, But the years of the wicked will be shortened. This is the first scripture that speaks about that in the Old Testament. But, on the second scripture there in the Bible about this, we... We, we find the word shortened that the Lord Jesus spoke. When the Lord Jesus spoke, he, he said, when he was speaking about the last days, when he was prophesying, now it's not the prophet speaking. It's not prophet Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel. No, this is the Lord Jesus himself. The Lord Jesus said, for then there will be great tribulation such as 
has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. Pay attention. See here. The beginning of the end. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. No flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. That means here the, the word the word shortened, it, it's being spoken in a different way. He said that the agony, the terror, the suffering, the affliction, the great tribulation, as he mentions there, will be in the end of the times. And this is what we have been seeing. You have been seeing that. If people believe or not, the signs are out there, the tsunamis, the earthquakes, and hurricanes, and tornadoes, and rivers that invade cities. So misery, pestilences, isn't it? We see the pestilences there. We had the coronavirus and many other pestilences there are out there and killing so many people. Well. All these things the Lord Jesus said that is the beginning of sorrows. But this beginning of sorrows, it will not be extending for a long time, for many, many years, for a long time. No, the Lord Jesus said that in the end of times, the days would be shortened. And it would be shortened because of whom? Because of those who are chosen. And this is wonderful, isn't it? So you, my dear friend, you should be very careful to be a chosen one of God, for you to be chosen of God, because this world will pass, life will pass, the futilities of our youth is going to pass. All of these things will pass. Oh my God. I remember when I was young, everything went so fast and it has been passing so fast. Everything goes by very quick. Everything stops. Everything comes to an end. Sooner or later, it comes to an end. We all know that. Sooner or later, we enter eternity. All of us, some will be joined to their Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, and others, unfortunately, they are going to be gathered to those who are rebellious, to those who are contrary to everything that God had done for us. They are going to be gathered to the whole hell, the whole hell, the devil, his angels, all the people who were rebellious, who did not want to listen to the voice of God, to those who only cared about the life here on earth. But all of us, we know that the life here on earth, the future is death, yes or no? Some will go sooner, others will go later, but everyone will go, will die, all of us, we are going to go to the grave, but the soul, the soul that will live eternally, the soul that will live eternally, that doesn't die, because if souls, if the souls would die, then the devil would not resist, there wouldn't be uh, evil in this world, there wouldn't be so much evil in this world, there wouldn't be even death, but because what God has created remains eternally, then only the things that God himself decides to destroy, only the things that he makes the decision to destroy, as it was the case when he sent the flood, and then the world was flooded, and everyone, everything in this world died. 
So let us then understand the reason why the Lord Jesus speaks this way that is so direct, that is so emphatic, so emphatic. He said, for then there will be great tribulation. You can see here that the tribulation is happening all around the world in the rich countries which are powerful, but also in the poor countries that are living in a very difficult situation. Everywhere, we can see everywhere, north, south, east and west, there in North America, there in Latin America, there in Europe, in Asia, everywhere in the world, we have been seeing things happening, tribulations, great tribulations happening. And these, pay close attention, these, um, I'm speaking here without mentioning the wars, without mentioning the wars, they're happening because the wars, they add to these tribulations, to the pain, the desperation, and only God can save those who fear Him. We have the evangelistic work of the church there in Russia. Yes, there in Russia. We have the work of the church there in the Ukraine as well. Even though in the midst of this war, we have the evangelistic work of the church there in Israel. Even though we are facing this war, we have the evangelistic work being done there in Africa and the whole Africa, and there the, the, the war is permanent. There the war has been happening for many, many years, and it doesn't stop. And you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know about this, it's because certainly you didn't think about that the, the media uh, gives attention only to the bad things that happen in the countries which are more developed, but the countries there in Africa, which are, the, the countries in the Africa, they are suffering for a long, long time. We almost don't hear anything about it, but there, there are wars and wars and wars happening because of the power. And this brings to all people great affliction. The Lord Jesus said, for then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. So the thing is, is ugly here. And, and, and he adds, and unless those days, unless those days, the Lord just said, were shortened, the Lord God is the one who shortens these evil days. Unless those days were shortened, no flesh, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Who are the chosen? The elect. The elect are those who will be taken. Those who will be raptured. Those who will disappear from this world from the face of the earth. They will not die, but they will be taken. As it was Enoch, the Bible tells us that Enoch walked with God in such a way that God took him to himself. <laughs> in, in that time, the man of that time, they used to live around a thousand years, but Enoch lived 365 years only, and he was taken. Then God took him, God raptured him. And this is also what will happen to those who are elect of God. And you, my dear friend, you have been thinking about your future. You have been, you have been worried about your future. But I ask you, what is going on in your head regarding your future? In your mind, are you thinking about the future of, of making money, building your house, and... Uh, make your older age safe and, and have a good health insurance? Are you thinking about this moment of your future 
of your life here on earth, but you know, you know that one day your life here on earth is going to be taken. So all these dreams, all these projects that you make for your future, they are only for a blink of an eye. They are only for a very short space of time, significant. But those who are wise, those who are wise, those who are wise, those who are wise, they, they, they know, they have the knowledge, they have the understanding, the, the wisdom that comes from God, the divine wisdom of God, not of this world. When people are wise according to the word of God, then they invest in the future, in the eternal future, that is the salvation of their soul. And when we speak about the Lord Jesus spoke about this, about shortening these days, these stormy days. He is speaking about, uh, he's calling our attention and he is uh, emphasizing that we should be very careful and that we may be very attentive to the future, the eternal future of our soul. I'm not going to speak about death. I'm not going to speak about death. I'm going to speak about separation which is the same thing. For God, it is separation. For us, it's death. For human beings, it is called death. But for God, it is separation. Those who believe in me, the Lord Jesus said this, even though he may die, he will live. Those who live and believe in me, they will never die. The Lord Jesus said that. Those who live and believe in me, they will never die. That means they will never be separated from me. They will never, never. But the one who does not believe is already judged. This one is already condemned. And when someone is condemned, they are already dead for God. They are dead. They are not dead to the world, but they are dead to God. There is only one way for them to have life, for them to resurrect. When they surrender, when they humble themselves, when they put the Lord Jesus in first place in their lives, when they believe in the Lord Jesus above everything, when they love the Lord Jesus above their own family, above their wealth, above their name, their reputation, when they place the Lord Jesus as the Lord of their lives, and then they become a servant of His. But as long as they don't serve the Lord, as long as they are not servant of God, they will be serving the evil one. And for this reason, they are already condemned, condemned to be eternally with evil because the soul will never die will never ever die think with me think with me if the soul if death for example our separation from our loved ones if it would it was just like a smoke that would just disappear then what is it that would happen? There wouldn't be evil in this world. There wouldn't be evil in this world. The devil would not exist because God could make him to, to disappear. But if he would do that, then the devil will never suffer the judgment because God is justice. God is justice. So those who are against him, they will be separated from him eternally. Eternally. But think with me, imagine to live in a place that the Bible calls it hell, a place of torment. But imagine to be in a place where everyone who is separated from God, they will be all there, all the rebellious, those who are evil, those who are murderers, the thieves, those who are corrupt, all of those who were against God, who lived 
and received the the gift of God here on earth, but then they despised the one who gave them life. They turned their backs to God. These who live separated from God, all of them on top of each other in a place, all together there in that place called hell. And there they will suffer for the whole eternity. Read after the Gospel of Luke chapter 16 from verse 19 until verse 31. Read there carefully and then you will see what death means to God. Separation. Separation from the evil ones to this place of torment. And those who are chosen, those who are elect, they're going to be with God for all eternity. And it's fair. This is fair because God is, is justice. Think with me. We are leaving these evil days these evil days but they are going to be short and then uh, praise god for this i <laughs> i i dream about this day i dream i think about these days the days that they are going to come and they're going to be shortened to all of those who fear the lord those who hear and obey his holy word think about these my dear friend Use your your mind, your logic, your logic, your reasoning. Use your intelligence and start to wait these words that I'm saying to you, the word of the Lord Jesus, because he himself said, heavens and earth will pass, but my words by no means will pass away. May God bless you all. And we'll see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God.